Oh, now what's happening with y'all? Like, the chick is like, mm mm who we gonna get if it ain't one thing? It's another. Is we gonna talk about it? Is we gonna talk about this shit? You reading the headline correct. U.S. troops injured in an attack. Who they gonna blame for this? Is Iran gonna get the blame for this? Is the Houthis gonna get the blame for this shit? Is Hezbollah, Hamas, who? We don't know. But guess what, though? It's gotta be somebody. Because in order to enter this war that we're getting ready to go into, that can happen at any given minute, today or tomorrow, somebody got to be blamed for it, and it's got to be a reason to, to put their best foot in. Now, peep this out. A lot of y'all woke up this morning in your safety net, got a hole in it, and you found out all your good little fishes that went through the hole. Listen here, folks. You better stop playing. You better stop letting these folks play on your top, man. I'm telling you. Shit getting real. Where is your vice president? Where is she at? Is she going to step out and talk about this? Because guess what? This is, this is putting a big mark on her name. You know what I'm saying? So all y'all that's sitting around here clapping your hands, cheering for this motherfucker for, for whatever reason, I don't know. A lot of y'all woke up, man. Your 401k been fucked up today. A lot of y'all woke up because y'all took that extra little money that you had and decided to put it inside the stock market, praying to God that it's going to rise up and you're going to make a little extra money. Because, you know, we all try to find us a little lit, you know what I'm saying? Try to have us a little side hustle going on. But that woman you're trying to put in the office, man, plays a major part in a lot of this shit that's going on right now. See, let me tell y'all something, and I'm finna be real with y'all. When I look at these rallies and look at these debates and watch these candidates come out here and speak, I look for key points. When Kamala come out, I don't listen to none of that shit because I've seen the work that they've been putting in for three and a half years. It's been bullshit. But when that boy Trump come out, he said a lot of bullshit, you know what I'm saying? He talking circles. But I listen to the main keys that he say. And then when he upset or at the end of his rally, you know what he say? Y'all better be careful because we're closer to a World War III than a lot of y'all think. The truth going to come out. When he talk on real, that's when I get all the good information off of him. That's when he at his best. And I listen to that shit. Listen here, people. You're, by, you're coming into some dark times, folks. A lot of things are finna be strange. You're not going to recognize it. A lot of people finna lose money. A lot of more people about to lose the mortgages and shit. I'm just being real with you, man. What's about to get ready to happen over there in the Middle East is finna reshape the whole world. Yeah, I said the whole world. You see how Japan got their shit going on? You see what China got going on? You see what Russia got going on? All you got to do is just look around, you know what I'm saying, the world. See, a lot of us, and I said us because I'm going to clue myself too, we will look at hmm, the United States and that's just it. We'll just think that's what it is. It's a bigger world than what's a, what you sitting at. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell y'all something, man. Y'all better hold on tight. You better make sure that seatbelt fa fasten up real fasten up and that, that bitch scrapped around you because, boy, you about to go on a roller coaster and guess what? It ain't been expected. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> that motherfucker can go off the rail at any given moment, folks. You see what's going on in the UK? That's a bird's eye view of what's about to happen over here in the United States. You better pay attention to that shit, man. I'm telling you. The world is going crazy. It's mind-blowing, ain't it? Why y'all be worrying about what kind of food to eat? What the entertainers are doing? You better be worried about your household. Better be stacking up on some shit. And I and I get a lot of comments. They be like, well, what can we do? You know what I'm saying? Or we don't have money to stack up on shit. You ain't got to go buy no damn generator. And you don't have to go buy a flashlight if you don't have the money to buy. But I tell you what you can do. You can go, go to the store and get some of them cheap-ass dry beans. Some of that damn rice some matches and some lighters.
take a couple of dollars off and get you a little propane goddamn little stove top. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you something, boy. Dark days around the corner. And I've been out here. I'm trying to warn you. That's all I can say for you. You feel me? Y'all step out there and get it out the mud.